And without further ado, let's welcome Kim. Maybe you've already seen her on the podcast. Kim is an amazing feminine leader also and live, she lives in Bali right now. And mm. she's all about mystery and magic and woman empowerment and such an authentic, vulnerable soul that I loved connecting with. So the stage is all yours, Kim. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you, Tanya, for creating this energetic portal to give other women permission to, to shine and really be in their power. <sighs> so I just want to take a minute just to soak you all in. Andrea, hello. Inga, oh, he looks so cozy. Nadine, Karen. Laura, oh my gosh, glowing goddess, loving the hoops. Brooke, Natasha, Milena, and for all the women who are watching in the vortex and <laughs> in the future, wherever you are, I see you, I feel you. <sighs> and I just want you to know that I, I am you. You are me, I am you, there is no separation. And when I was thinking about how to introduce myself today I've actually got a mouthful of ulcers so <laughs> if I'm finding it hard to speak that's why <laughs> ah, and I could tell you all the accolades all the sold out retreats all the downloads on my podcast but I really felt the call to just connect to you human to human and for you to know that we are all the same and we are all rays of light in this world that maybe you just need permission to shine a little bit brighter and when Tanya introduced me to this section it took me back to a time when I was always in my masculine and if anyone can relate to this please do comment I love that you're interacting I love to feel you and Oh, I really vibe off your energy. So if anything I say resonates, please do share. If you'd have told me even three years ago that I would be on a webinar with other powerful women talking about feminine leadership, I would have said, but how? <laughs> how is that even possible? The only thing I knew was hustle, struggle, sacrifice, compromise, stressing my nervous system. It was my safe place. It was a place that I felt comfortable. And now this version of me can't believe the process and journey that I've been through. But it's not been easy. <laughs> it's been an interesting year. And many of you may have felt this year. <laughs> 2022, the year of manifestation. All your dreams become a reality, which is true because manifestation isn't always about getting what you want it's about getting what you need <sighs> and so this year for me has been an initiation I have built the most incredible successful thriving coaching business this year and I've also had the lowest financial months depression heartbreak like what the heck universe why am I in this position like a few months ago I was celebrating multiple six figures in a short space of time and now I'm questioning my life feeling so lonely and lost <laughs> it's been a ride but ultimately it's brought me to my bare minimum because the way that I was going was not the direction that spirit wanted me to go for my highest good and for the highest good of all. So the universe gave me the opportunity to really take a look at my soul and to ask myself the question, what do I truly, truly desire? And just for a moment, I want this half an hour that we have together to be an experience. I want you to leave changed I want your energetic blueprint to have a new calibration and so be as present as you can be knowing that this next 20 minutes you might 
hear something or feel something that can radically shift your vibration and magnetism and the things that you're calling in. So first of all, I would love for you to just tune in for a second. <sighs> there are no coincidences. You are here for a reason at this time. What was the call that you felt when you saw this event? Just tune into your heart space, your intuition. Why did your soul guide you here? What is it that you're calling in? Maybe it's conscious, maybe unconscious. But if you were to ask yourself, why did I commit to being on these calls at whatever time of the world it is that you're tuning in from? And if you feel called, I'd love to, to see you and feel you in the chat box. So what called you here? What is it that you're calling in in your life right now? When you saw the poster with all these women and the feminine power, what did you feel from that energy? Hmm. Inga said it's been a wild ride. <laughs> yep. It's been a one wild ride. <laughs> I feel like it's been a whole theme park full of emotions. So as you're typing those intentions and tuning into yourself, I really wanted to set the tone for my session today. And when I was tuning in, I was really feeling the magic mastery is something I wanted to share because mastering our magic and basically owning our power, which is feeling full permission to be us, to show up in the world and our unique expression is the difference between where you are now and where you desire to be. If someone was to ask me, okay, how do I get to the next level? I would say, you just got to own your magic. Now, we come into this life with many lifetimes of trauma. Maybe we have spoken our truth and it's not been accepted. Especially if we're in the woo-woo world and we're using crystals and sage and all these magical potions. We've probably been faced with adversity and people questioning who we are and why we do what we do. And so as women, we have just lived beneath the potential of what we're capable of because being ourselves owning our uniqueness it takes courage and it takes bravery and that's exactly what Shoshana was talking about you know everything in the world that's ever needed to be said has already been said and so the difference is how we show up in our unique expression and so this word magic what does it actually mean the word magic is this supernatural power, this genius, this uniqueness, the thing, the essence, the energy that makes every single person on this planet different. Like we all have individual fingerprints. Doesn't that literally blow your mind that there's like nearly 8 billion people that have different fingerprints? And so we look at someone else who's got a thriving coaching business or someone who is where we want to be. We think, oh, I'm not like them. That's not possible for me. Or in order to create what they've created, I need to be like them. And so my journey personally has been undoing the masks releasing any superficiality, letting go of anything that isn't mine and coming home to my soul. And so in 2019, I created a brand called The Soul Digger, which is all about helping women and men live authentically, fearlessly and unapologetically. And I am a work in progress and it's still something I'm working on, the deeper layers, the unconscious beliefs and patterns that are still underneath. But I'm so committed to fully knowing that I'm unique 
And when I show up as my unique expression, I inspire the world to do the same. But the thing with magic is, it's usually the thing that comes easy to us that is our genius. And because it comes easy, we disregard it. Comment below if you've ever experienced that. <laughs> like, how can it really be that easy? This just comes really easy to me. How can I possibly get paid that much for something that I just find so fun and, and, and simple? And this is where in the past I have gone into the pattern of, oh, me and my genius, I can't possibly get paid to be me. So I'm going to try another box. I'm going to try and fit into another mold. And because it's not been aligned, I've had to hustle and grind and do things the hard way. So my belief system was in order to be successful, it has to be hard. And when I started to fully own my unique expression, the pathways started to open up and it started to become easier. And I started to fully own that my magic is unique to me. And I stopped looking at other people for validation. I stopped trying to follow other people's pathway of success. Because what good does it serve us when one of our mentors has earned a million dollars in a year and we're sat there and we've made $10,000 in a year and we're comparing ourselves and saying, what's wrong with me like if they've done it I'm gonna do it how they've done it they're totally unique and there's many things that we can tap into to really uncover our blueprint which is human design and gene keys and personality tests but ultimately it's creating the spaciousness to be able to tune in and really ask ourselves what does my soul desire and I will admit, okay, the first half of this year, I had the most successful coaching business dreams come true. But I wasn't doing it in an aligned way. And so it was September time. The universe was like, that's not the right way for you. So we need to literally wipe the slate clean, bring you to your knees so that you have the space to ask this question. There was so much noise, so much distraction, social media, other people saying, do it this way, do it that way. Yeah, it's worked for them. How often do you create the space and turn off your phone and connect to your soul and ask yourself, what does my soul truly desire? If I was to create my dream life, what would it look like? How would it feel? How many hours would I desire to commit? To making this a reality because every possibility is available so on a scale of one to ten how much do you fully know and own and show up in your uniqueness ten is yes i am fully here i'm shining like i know i'm a bit weird and wonderful and i love all these parts of me i'm a ten and a one is, oh my God, like I'm so afraid of even showing my opinion in case someone shuts it down. I would so love to feel you. Seven. Hmm. Six. Four. Okay, so there's a little bit of room for improvement, which is why we're here. Feminine power. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I love that. And as well, no judgment. It's just here. I am. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> and it's okay. So that's the what. The magic is the superpower. It's what comes natural source. Now, why is it so important for us to be in our magic, our uniqueness? It's because how it's how we radiate. Like, do you know those people that you just feel like so relaxed around, you can just be yourself, there's no little voices thinking, oh my God, I need to stand a certain way or be a certain way. Or... You radiate different when you're just fully yourself. And that feminine radiance, that relaxedness, that owning of who we are and why we're here and our uniqueness is magnetic. 
And so you're going to hear from so many speakers who are going to teach you how to embody your feminine power and your your womb space and using your cycles and all of these feminine tools that we have in our body. We are literally creating life in our body every single day. So we have to look within to be able to change what's happening without. And it's the pathway. Our magic and our joy and our ease is the pathway to our purpose. Our purpose, I believe, is to be ourselves, to honor in the present moment what is alive, letting go of what we think we should do and who we think we should be, honoring in every single moment in this present time how do I feel how can I honor that who am I how can I show up as myself today the world needs more women in their self-expression I see myself as a mentor and a leader in this new paradigm I'm helping to turn people's lights on it's safe to be you it's safe to do it differently you can rest and it's accepted. <laughs> Full permission to be supported. And I'll be honest, this year I had this, I need to prove. I'm independent. I'm going to make the money. I'm going to earn a million dollars through my coaching business. Da, 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 da. It's like, why? What's it for? It wasn't for me. It was a pathway that I thought I had to follow to be successful, to get this stamp of approval until I realized that is not me. It's not what my soul truly desires. And so in the silence, in the falling down of my external reality and the crumbling of everything I relied on for safety, in the silence, I got to know myself on a soul level. And what happened in that silence my spirit baby came in. This strong warrior, male energy for the first time I've never felt that before. And he was like, I'm getting full body shivers. Whew. Like I'm ready to come through. Now you're ready to support me. Because that way that you were that you were building a feminine business in a masculine way, that isn't going to support me. I need you to be in your feminine. I need you to support me. I need a stable nervous system. How many of you would love a stable, consistent nervous system? Because I'll be honest, in my coaching business that I was building, my nervous system was shot to shit. Constantly like in this fight and flight and fear. And I couldn't create from that place. And I realized in this down that my nervous system is the most important thing. It's the peace. It's the uh, feeling supported that would allow me to be in my feminine. And I'm all about dancing in the unknown. I'm all about leap in the net will appear. But this year I leaped so big that it didn't work out for me. I love the unknown, but I also love the safety of something, of support. So it's having the unknown, but a pathway to follow. Having a structure, a system, a support network that I know there's a place I can go that doesn't feel scary because I can see the pathway ahead. And so because I've discovered this way to support myself, it's allowed me to be in my magic because I'm not stressed. I'm not worried about Where's the money going to come from next month? And what am I going to launch next? And all that stuff, which was taking me away from my magic because I was in survival mode. That's coming in a minute. <laughs> so the what, the why, and the what if. What if you owned your magic more? And just tune in for a second. <sighs> If you, would dial up, if you were to dial up those parts of you that make you different, the place where you can go from an eight to a 10, a six to a 10, a seven to a 10, a four to a 10, that gap, if you were to fully own your magic, your power, 10 out of 10, 
what would be different? <sighs> How would it feel? Mm, what if you were to be your fully untamed self-expressed self all of the time what would be different and how does that feel in your body now it's all well and good saying that but it's really important to actually bring awareness because when we you know when we're aware of what's in the way we can actually shift it so i'm going to take you through the how how do we master our magic how do we remove what's in the way because as a manifestation mentor and multi-dimensional human being who's into lots of different things <laughs> it's always about what's in the way it's about what is in the way of me being that fully expressed version of me which if i fully embrace and embodied would completely change my life we magnify that, we amplify that. So this is a really fun exercise to do. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, say I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So let's again, just tune in. Hmm. And I want you to imagine that you are with your best friend. Your best friend who accepts you and loves you, the person, the people that you feel like you are yourself 10 out of 10. Or even if it's by yourself, if you only feel like you are yourself when you're by yourself, have that as the example. Okay, so this vision of you who is so courageous she knows who she is, why she's here. She owns her woo-woo, her gangster, her wild woman, her tomboy, her strength. Feel that version of you, that 10 out of 10 fully expressed. If no one was watching, how would you feel? What would you be doing? How would you be fully showing up? Okay, so once you've got that anchored in, I want you to now imagine you get a phone call from Netflix. Netflix say, we're so inspired. We've heard about your life and we would love to come and film you just being you. It's going to be streamed globally all around the world in a thousand countries. There's going to be 10 million viewers. And all you have to do is be yourself. I want you to feel into that feeling and notice what comes up in this space. When everyone is watching you, be you. Would you accept the call? Would you say that you're busy? Comment in the chat box. I'd love to know what came up, what beliefs, what limiting thoughts, what voices you had in your head when all of a sudden you realized there was going to be cameras on you being streamed around the world. Did anything come up for any of you? <sighs> I know for me, because this is actually kind of kind of a reality, something that happened a few months ago for me. I was like, shit, I can't say that. Shit, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. What if this person sees me? 
do that what that person oh I feel will they accept me will they love me what will the world say can I handle that Tanya I realize it will be so much easier with my best friend yeah Nadine peace Tanya alone mm. Yeah, it's interesting what happens when we amplify the circumstance. And I do this a lot with money. So, you know, a thousand, a thousand, I can manifest a thousand pounds. Cool. If someone was to say to me, okay, I want you to manifest a million pounds. It's like, wow. Okay. So illuminating the circumstance allows us to see the beliefs that have always been underneath even the thousand pounds. And then we get to clear what's in the way because it's just a number. A thousand and a million is just seven zeros, which is six, seven zeros, which six zeros, which is basically six lots of nothing. But in that space, what comes up for us is what is in the way. Brooke said it would be exciting, but nervous. I talk and laugh with myself a lot. I would fear the producers trying to mold me to get more views approval. I would accept the call because I, if I am in my true self, I can't be wrong. I can only be inspiring. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And also it's just, just it's, it's interesting to feel into, like, is there any part of you that feels, ooh, will I be accepted? And if I'm not accepted, how do I feel? Do I have to censor myself? Do I have to live small? So if any of those beliefs comes up, what I recommend you do is 22, I choose to believe. I choose to believe that the more I am, the more people love me. I choose to believe that the more I am, the more money I get paid. I choose to believe that me and my radical self-expression is good for me, it's good for the world, it's good for everyone involved. So feel inside, and you can use this for anything, like 10X, 100X, the goal, the money goal that you have, Let's say you've got an average of six months earning. Let's just say it's £5,000 a month. Times that by 100, whatever that is. Let's just say it's like £500,000 a month. What beliefs get in the way? What is under the carpet that gets to be cleared and shifted to help you recalibrate? So that's the inner world. Okay, so how you master your magic is you clear what's in the way of you fully owning yourself and you create the spaciousness to really ask yourself the question, what does my soul truly desire? And when I asked myself this question, my spirit baby came through and I also, the million dollar a year kind of dissolved. And I really desired consistency, community, women and men around the world that were creating communities. I required a stable income. I didn't want to do it on my own. I wanted to have a simple structure and a business model that I could follow and that had a pathway for success. And one thing I realized that with my clients, I was helping them with their internal world, but what is the next step? And so having something that's tangible in the 3D world to actually help give you the support so that you can be in your feminine is also really key. And the past few months since I had that dark night of the soul, people have been commenting on how calm I feel when I speak. And that is because I truly feel supported in my external reality. And one thing I've learned from this year, yeah, you can have, in, you can have internal safety, but your nervous system also needs external safety. That's my experience. And so to have this external safety of a community of people who are there to support you and hold you and call you forward to your highest vibration, to have mentors that are available to help elevate your frequency and to have a business model and another income stream and support to actually create a pathway as you're building your business, as you are evolving as a human, so that you can have the time and resources to go and travel around the world, take a week off your phone and attend that magical retreat that you want to go to, 
So that is something that I really help people to do now is create that safety externally as well as internally. And I know we're just about to run out of time. <laughs> so if anyone would love to have a chat about how to create this external safety and be a part of a community and really have a calm nervous system, then just reach out to me and we can chat and I can share more about what I, what I do in that capacity. But thank you so much for having me. I really do thank you for being here and continue to be you because there's only one of you and you and your expression is going to turn other people's lights on. So thank you, Tanya, for putting this together and thank you all you beautiful women for committing this time. And I so appreciate you. Thank you so much, Kim. Do you want to share something with the women, how they can connect a link, anything? Yeah. So my Instagram is on my Zoom there. So it's Kim Mellor, K-I-M-M-E-L-L-O-R underscore. I've also got a podcast called The Soul Digger. And I've got a website called KimMellor.com. But I love Instagram. So come and hang out on Instagram because I love the visual vibe, vibiness of the gram. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, you glow different than when we had the podcast interview. Something really shifted. I can feel that. It's so beautiful to witness. And it's funny that you shared uh, the spirit baby because I had the same experience in Costa Rica. I was I was connected to my daughter, to the spirit of my daughter since I'm 16, but I could feel her and I could feel her coming into my womb. And this whole past year was a lot about womb healing and creating like a golden cage and felt like she's coming into my womb and I know also in 2023 I'm gonna be pregnant I don't know by who but I feel my man and my baby are so coming very very soon so I love that you shared it because sometimes it sounds so crazy but it's also so beautiful I feel it's such a beautiful way to connect to our soul babies that want to come through so thank you for sharing that yeah. and to everybody else i wish you a beautiful morning i'm proud of you you made it it's, i know it's six or seven in the morning for some of you <laughs> and i see you tonight or tomorrow morning depending where you are with sophie josefina from feminine shadow to feminine power and amy natalie with unleash your wild woman so i'm super excited to continue this journey and to see you in a few hours much love to everybody and I see you soon.